Hey folks, Ned Pyle here. Today I'm going to show you how to get and make and issue a certificate for the purposes of SMB over QUIC. Um, you can get a cert any way you like, you know, DigiCert, uh, VeriSign, Let's Encrypt, whatever. But uh, what I'm going to talk about today is using a Microsoft Certificate Authority, which is real common inside of the commercial and public sector space. So I'm going to fire up the Certificate Authority, Certification Authority Snap-in, and I'm going to create a new template. So click Manage there. I'm going to grab the computer template, which is a good starting point, and make a copy of that. And the first thing I'm going to do as I work my way through this endless wall of tabs is um, set the certification authority and the certificate recipient to the highest, bestest, most uh, safe and secure you know, uh, options. I'm going to give it a name, something easy to find when this thing is being uh, issued out to your file servers. To publish it in Active Directory. I'm going to change the purpose to signature. And I'm going to uh, set the cryptography provider category to key storage provider. The algorithm to EC DSA uh, 256 and a minimum size of SHA 256 for the hash. It's a little bit faster than RSA, a little bit more modern than RSA with its long 2048s. Um, I don't need to do anything until I get to extensions here. I'm going to go and change the key usage to uh, server authentication. Just remove this client one. It's not necessary. Um, and I'll also set, you look through security, you'll be modifying this to meet your own needs. You know, who can issue service, who can enroll service, you know, who can automatically enroll service, that kind of stuff. In this case, we're going to do a supply and the request. We're creating a cert that has special custom stuff, right? Every time we make a new file server, we need to set some names in it. So we're going to choose supply and a request, and we'll see how that works in a little bit. I'll also make sure that if it gets uh, renewed, we keep that information. And then for uh, that, I can click OK. I've got my new template, SMB over quick, and I can go ahead and publish that so people can get it. So this new cert to issue. If you scroll down here, we should see SMB over quick. Good to go. There it is. And let's move to the next part where I install the certificate. What this means is we are going to, uh, you know, go to our file server now, where we're running SMB over quick, request that cert, and install it so that I can go and actually map the cert and use it with SMB over in Windows Admin Center in a different demo. So first, I'm going to run the uh, snap in and add the certificates. Uh, computer account, snap into it through the MMC console. You can do this remotely, you can do this on the file server, it doesn't really matter. And then I can look down here, here's the, the, the My Local Machine Store, and I'm going to request a new certificate for this file server. So now I've got my enrollment policy based in AD. That's the beauty of using a Microsoft Certificate Authority, is I get to have all this stuff automatically through Active Directory. I'm going to choose my quick one, and you saw I had to you know, provide more information. And this is sort of the custom part, because every file server is going to be different, and it needs names to be connected to. So I put in the names of however I want you know, SMB over quick users and applications and such to get to this server. As many names as it's going to have, um, either internally or externally. You really mostly can turn, you know, can, you know, are concerned about the external names, because you're using it probably for an edge case. But if you want to use SMB over quick internally, you'll need it as well. So in this case, I'm giving it a couple of internal names, and then I'm giving it the name I'm probably going to use with all my users, which is this FS1 Edge external name. And then I need to give it a subject. It doesn't matter what it is, but I want to be able to find the cert, and uh, that is basically its name, right? Okay. So I've gone ahead and done that. I'm going to choose Enroll, and then look at split. It's going to enroll and install the certificate. And if I look now, there's my cert. Let's take a little bit closer look here. You can see its validity period. You can see there's the SHA-256 RSA thing that I did. Uh, there is the ECC information right there. Uh, there's the subject alternative names. There's the key stuff I just did where I gave it the names that it will be connected to. If you're able to find the subject in here somewhere, uh, the subject's right there. And I'm all ready to go. At this point, I'm going to Windows Admin Center and run the file sharing extension and click on the configure quick and see my stuff.